Well, this month is the anniversary of Roe versus Wade and over 50 million babies have been lost to abortion, which means there are more than 50 million people. And that's a lot more than 50 million because you've got moms and you've got dads, and you've got grandmas and grandpas who live every day of their lives hurting, whether they realize it or not. Sometimes we suppress that hurt that's inside of us. Sometimes we don't realize what we have buried way deep down inside, but it's still there. If you've been watching Surrender the Secret, then you have heard the recovery stories of some women who have gone through abortions and how God is healing them and making their lives new. And we want you to know that that same healing is available for you as well. The last few weeks, we've been talking with Sherry Neuenschwander of Concepts for Truth, and we've got her with us again tonight. And um, abortion recovery is not only real, and available, but it exists right in this area. And there are recovery programs right here that are designed to help people feel that newness of life. Is that right? Amen. Um, Concepts of Truth, Ohio office, I'm the director of, we offer abortion recovery program uh, weekends, healing weekends, several times a year. We're gonna have one coming up in March for both women and men. So they can call the helpline at 1-866-482-LIFE and find out more information. But yes, we offer a weekend uh, abortion recovery called Concepts of Recovery, The Journey. Again, it's mm -hmm. The Journey. And so our weekends begin at three o'clock in the afternoon and end on Sunday afternoon. Um, it is a time to, uh, to shut out the world and come. Um, and go deeper in the Word of God and allow Him to come. And we just create the atmosphere for healing um, and God does the rest, amen. And so it's a Bible study, uh, significantly uh, designed for abortion recovery um, to go through the healing pit stops that we talked about, you know, dealing with the denial, the anger, uh, the shame and the guilt and forgiving yourself and others and accepting Christ's forgiveness and letting go. Um, so we go through the healing uh, pit stops or the, the, the tasks, the healing tasks, but it's a safe place to come for both men and women. Is this a combined thing? Men and women are, are in this together? Do you do it separately? Uh, we do have a, a male um, leader that comes. So if it's a husband or a wife, or we do have um, a man that is interested, we will have male and female leaders because it is policy that we have a male if there is a man that comes forward. So um, they would contact us. And again, we talked a little bit before about the intake process. So if they call us and want to come, they would fill out an application. Again, this is only to just find out where they're at in their healing journey, in their faith walk with the Lord. Our policy is do no harm. So if there's something that needs to be addressed before coming to an abortion recovery program, we could make referrals and help them and build that relationship. But they can call and uh, again, um, it's, uh, it's just a safe place. It's here locally um, and um, it's in St. Mary's, Ohio. That's, that's about as far as I mm -hmm. can tell you at this point, but um, they can come and um, just begin their healing journey. And there's a lot of people who believe that they can heal on their own, mm -hmm. that they don't really need outside help, that they'll just work on it by themselves. Um, why would you say that choosing to attend one of these weekends could really be the, the life changer for them? Well, you know, the Lord gently leads us in this journey. So he brings us so far and well, he brings us all the way. Mm -hmm. But um, attending an abortion recovery weekend, such as Concepts of Recovery, the journey, gives you a safe place. Um, to give voice to that pain, to process that pain mm -hmm. in a non-judgmental mm -hmm. you know, place, along with someone such as myself who has gone through this journey and further down the journey, mm -hmm. healing uh, journey. But um, it's, just a, it's just an amazing, um, it's an amazing thing to come and just let God allow you go deeper. It's, it's just important. It's a vital step to the healing process mm. because um, you become, you find such, such more freedom, I guess is what I want to say. So, so much mm. more freedom. And I've heard, and I've experienced in my own life in so many different, different things, when we do physically take a step and mm -hmm. we step forward and we might verbally say something or we might write something or we, we allow ourselves to get around that, that accountability group. God has an opportunity to do brand new things in that way uh, that really held us back before. Um, 
what what's the size like? Are these large groups? Are these small groups? Very small, very intimate. But I also want to go back and before I continue on that, just to comment because um, society does not give us an opportunity to grieve. So when you mm -hmm. come to abortion recovery, that is given that opportunity not only mm -hmm. to grieve but to honor your child. So that would be one of the main reasons why. But yes, they're very, very small, intimate groups. Only four to six participants. It's not like when you say abortion recovery weekend retreat that it's going to be 50 or 60 people that come. It's very, very small, intimate groups. When we go through this intake process and you're ready to go through that to take that step and attend an abortion recovery weekend, you come and there's only four to six participants. That and and everybody is aware of, as far as if getting approval, as far as if a man is going to be attending or who's mm -hmm. going to be coming. Um, and you know they don't, may not know their story or whatever, but we let them know that you know if they feel comfortable that a man might be coming. Like if it's a couple coming, um, it, sometimes we'll have just one couple. And you know, sometimes we'll have three women and, and one man or whatever, but we make sure everybody feels comfortable because we don't want to put any hindrances or any stumbling blocks um, in that setting for healing. Um, so we make sure everybody's aware of what's going to happen. And then when they come, it's just an intimate place um, just to give voice and to just work through those uh, healing tasks that we talked about. I love what you said, one of the parts of the weekend is, is honoring their child. Yes. Um, that is not something they're probably going to hear from the general public. Mm -hmm. When they hear about abortion, they're not thinking about the fact that they, that's still their baby mm -hmm. and God still has placed that baby in their lives. I would imagine that you see a lot of healing that comes through just through that itself. You know, I stand amazed. I've been on both sides, okay? I've been as a participant and I've been a, a leader. And it is a maze from the beginning to the end of the weekend to watch the transformation as they work through the grief and start letting go mm -hmm. and realizing that God truly does forgive them, yeah. forgives us. And when we get to the memorial service and, you know, we actually set up an, a real memorial service asking pastors. So any pastor that might be interested in that as well, please contact us, but they come and, um, you know, they can light a candle, lay, you know, rose down on the table and representing their child and just releasing it to the Lord. It is just an amazing thing to see the, uh, the participant, the man or the woman, just realize that there is true freedom in letting go and knowing that they will see their child yeah. one day. And again, that's a part, you know, maybe you're, depending on where you're at in the healing journey, you may not understand that or want to go there yet, but rest assured that God's grace covers all sin, but also to know that we will see our, if we know the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal savior, we will have eternity <laughs> with our children. As, as hard as it is to work through the process, and it is a hard work that go through the grieving process, but to receive that healing, and to acknowledge that forgiveness and to know that we will have eternity with our children. There's no greater joy. Sherry, you said it is hard work, but it is, is it worth the hard work? Every bit, every bit. You're worth it. The person, you know, we're worth it because God loves us. God loves us. He gave his life for us. And so he wants us to be whole. He wants us to be healed. By his stripes, we are healed. By the blood of the cross, we are healed. So um, it is hard work. It's not an easy journey. It is not an easy journey. It's filled with tears and laughter and, and all kinds of emotions. But it's, it's just, yeah, it's ever bit worth mm -hmm. it. Yes, amen. And can you share a scripture that you might encourage people at home to read if they need something right now that, that will get them where they need to be? Amen, thank you. Um, if you've experienced the pain of abortion, I know that it's very hard to cry out to the Lord because to find those words to just cry out. I often encourage people to turn to Psalms 51. Psalms 51 is where King David cried out to the Lord um, and acknowledged his sin. And I often prayed that when I could not find the words. So I encourage anyone who's experienced the pain of abortion to turn to the Lord, trust in him, and just turn to Psalms 51 and just cry out to the Lord. Read it over and over and over because it is a prayer. 
it is a prayer and God will hear your heart cry. So turn to Psalms 51. All right, and what is finally the next weekend? What are the dates of the next recovery weekend? Actually, it'll be March 14th um, or March 16th. 14th through the 17th. I'm sorry, it's that. That's right. Yeah. I asked you really quickly. Yeah, <laughs> it's that. It's uh, March uh, 14th through the 17th, or 16th through the 17th. And you can always call us, yes, TV44, to find out more information on when that is. But that is in March, so you've got a little bit of time <laughs> coming up. You can also remember call the National Helpline for Abortion Recovery to uh, find out more about that at 1-866-482-LIFE. That number is also there for you if you have questions, if you have concerns, if you have hurts, if you just need prayer. You can call that. Thank you so much, Sherry, for for sharing this wonderful, and very important information with us. And we just want to thank you as well for joining us thank tonight. You.